Well, here we are again at the conclusion of another Networking in Nature session. Today's session was a special edition of Networking in Nature that formed part of the Spark Festival, currently rolling out in Sydney in support of the small business and entrepreneurial community. And we were lucky to have a member of the small business and entrepreneurial community lead today's session, Mr. Adam Hyman from Sportility, um, CEO and co-founder. And Adam's journey has been incredibly interesting and that was really the focus of today's session was hearing what it's actually really like in a small business, going on that journey from idea to having some success and everything in between and the purpose of it was really to look at Adam's story and hopefully uncover some lessons and insights that might help others either already in small business or maybe just have an idea or an intention to go down that line at some point in the future. Adam, firstly, thanks so much for coming thanks along. Thanks so much for us. having me. I really appreciate it. It's a beautiful backdrop and a beautiful morning. Yeah, thanks for bringing the nice weather as well. Okay. Really appreciate that. Um, for those who couldn't come, I would love if you'd be able to just recap what were those three or four key bits of advice that you shared this morning and what would you like others to reflect upon when learning from your story? Absolutely. Well, for me, starting a business was something that was quite daunting and the hardest part in starting a business, more often than not, is just getting started. For me, it was starting a teamwear brand that I really didn't know how to start and fortunately I was thrown into the deep end by a friend that happened to run or be a part of one of the largest organizations in the world. And for me, it was actually just getting started. So. That's the first point that I really empowered uh, all of our attendees today uh, in Networking in Nature, was just to actually, if you've got that idea, just get started. The second point that I, I touched on today was really around the perseverance and the perseverance that is involved in running a small business. A lot of us think that getting into a startup is gonna be smooth sailing. For us, it wasn't. It was uh, actually persevering through the, the hitting uh, and the, the sometimes uh, you know, down moments when you're, when you're down in the dumps and, and actually learning w where we could actually take this business. And, and that was really leading into that third point, which was for us listening to our customers and knowing when to pivot. So we had a business that was a teamwear brand that we thought that we were solving a problem when in actual fact all we needed to do was listen to our customers and they would tell us what the market really wanted. And what that was, was we listened to our customers on both sides of our marketplace to instead of just provide teamwork, connect them to brands for sponsorship by enabling them to go online, design their teamwork in 3D and click a sponsor logo to reduce the cost of their teamwork. And that all came from just listening to our customers. And then the, the fourth and last point, which for me is a real heavy ingredient in, in building a business, which is building your dream team. And for us at the time, we realized that we had so many amazing people around us that had been on boards and, uh, and built amazing um, profiles for themselves in the public domain. We had Andrew Bogart as one of our investors and ambassadors. And for us, what we wanted to do was actually make sure that we were building a dream team. So it wasn't just the weight of, a, of the world on our shoulders, it was the weight uh, dispersed across our dream team of supporters on the field, off the field, and, uh, and, and I guess the, the ones in the grandstand and supporting us. Yeah, and uh, the proof is in the pudding. So congratulations for the journey that you're on and the success that you're now having with Sportility, which is being widely recognized now as a really innovative solution. And it was really interesting to hear this morning where that came from yeah, and, thank you. and the yeah, simplicity really behind it. some of the, sometimes it is so difficult to actually ask the customers, well, what do they want rather than assuming that you've already got the solution everyone's looking for. And it was, yeah, it was yeah. just a really, timely reminder I think for everyone who attended today and I hope everyone else who's catching this online got something from that message as well so Adam Hyman thank you so much again thank you so much for having me really appreciate it welcome